Get out of this chamber. Politi Get out of this Don't chamber. You're me. a bully. Don't touch me. You're a bully. Don't touch me. You're trying to destroy the public service in this Please city. Don't touch me. Get out of here. As political Don't shouting matches go, leave the I will chamber. defend myself if you keep touching me. Don't touch me. I'm not touching you, Georgia. Get away from me. Leave the Get chamber. This one got pretty heated. Said so you're leaving space. the chamber. Please. You haven't got the courage to stand up and Get debate away this. From my space. Leave. Please. Get away from my space. Leave. I'm asking you nicely. Councillors Gord Perks and Giorgio Mammoliti nose to nose in front of reporters. Public service. I think that you are bullying me right now. So ah, you're please wrong, stop. Georgia. The angry exchange started brewing earlier when Councillor Mammoliti suggested there were political motivations behind a damning ombudsman's report into the mayor's office. I still hold firm. I'd like to know which comments I made that are so uh, offensive. Problem is, as Councillor Perks pointed out, politicians aren't supposed to slam bureaucrats who can't stand up at council to defend themselves. The leadership on around Mayor Ford have been deliberately sabotaging the public service in this city, they have been driving them out of their jobs, they have been undermining their credibility. Mamaliti was ordered to apologize or leave council. So he chose to walk is? away. Gord Perks followed. Get out of this Don't chamber, you're me. a bully. Don't touch me. You're a bully. After it was over, both men cooled off and apologized, well, sort of. I want to apologize to Councillor Mamaliti and all the members of the, this chamber. I accept the apology, however, he has a track record of, uh, of uh, anger management issues. I'm wondering if I can show you a little video of what uh, your city councillors have been up to today. Okay. When we took the video to the street, the response was a little less forgiving. Wow, why is he in his face like that? Oh my goodness. They're just acting like a bunch of kids, they really do need to grow up. The two men may have settled their differences, at least for now, but the damning report at the centre of their fight will face a full day of heated hearings before city council on Thursday. And some developments to tell you about tonight on the plastic bag ban. You'll recall that ban was up for a challenge today as some city councillors tried to reopen the whole issue. Turns out they didn't have the votes they needed. That means the ban will stand. The bag ban comes into effect January 1st. It means retailers can no longer hand out any sort of single-use plastic bag. Leslie? All right, Jackson, thank you.